Before this video starts real quick, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would really mean a lot and support our growth. Um, we're on the road to 200, 300 now, actually. And so, yeah, it would mean a lot. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy here, Glowstick, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be doing something that was insanely requested from you guys once again. Better get lots of views. Uh, leveling, leveling system, actually, in Discord.py. So, there it is. Uh, and yeah, let's get straight into it. What we want to start off by doing is we want to actually create a client dot event, client dot event, and that's going to be called a sync def on underscore message, like so. And we actually can't, uh, not on underscore message. My bad. On underscore member dot join, underscore join, right? And then. Uh, we're gonna pass in member like you do and then uh, Actually, we have to create a brand new I guess file it's gonna be called users Dot JSON and this will store all of our user info So open that up and then just exit out make sure it's like this because I do have people that are not doing this And then come come to me saying oh, why is my code not one? It's because you did do this anyways um yeah, now that we have that, we can do with open and then do users.json. Uh, then you want to open up as a read file. So, comma and then r as f as in file. And then it will do users equal json.load. And I forgot to say this in the beginning, but. Make sure you have JSON imported or else it will not work. It's pre uh, made into Python, so you won't have to, like, you know, do pip install or anything. Just do import JSON in the beginning. And then you can break out of that and then have a wait update underscore data. We will make this function later on. You'll see. And then that will be called users and then <coughs> comma space member. If you don't want to add the space, you could do that I don't care but now we can do another with open and then users.json and this time it's going to be as right as f boom and do json.dump users f and now do indent equals four don't do in tent or something weird make sure you spell this correctly again i get so many people asking me why is my code not work it's because you didn't spell this correctly now now that we're done with that let's just do uh we have to make another one called client dot uh event another client dot event actually and it's going to be called async def on underscore message pass in message and then open that up if message.author.bot equals equals false and then do this so basically what this will do is it will check okay <coughs> is your sorry about that <coughs> but it will check if your um the person who actually sent the message is a bot if it's not then it'll return it will actually run this code if it is then it just won't so we can do with open and then um inside of it once again we're going to do users.json as r right so like so it's a read and then users equals json.load f now go down a bit and here's gonna what we're gonna do i guess uh we're gonna do the functions we didn't we didn't type out the functions yet we're gonna get that to that later actually right after this so yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna do oh wait update data update underscore data and then that's gonna be called users message dot author so it's gonna update their data and then it's also gonna oh wait add underscore experience if i can spell this correctly experience there we go and then we can do it's gonna have users once more <coughs> and then do a message 
message the author so that's what we're gonna update it to and then five now this is how many xp you're actually giving to the person you can set this to one two you can set this to like 69 you can even just spam like a number i don't care i'm just gonna set it to five because it's a regular number or you can even have a randomizer for it uh using the random module but we want to make another one called level up it's gonna have users message dot author and then message once more and then that's gonna be done and now we can do with open once more and now you guys you guys won't believe this right it's gonna be users.json w as f i know you guys i surprised you with that one don't lie <laughs> and then we can do json.dump users f and then equals four this is just so your code looks a lot nicer and then down here we can do a wait client if you have bot then do bot dot process uh, underscore commands and then message so it will process all of the commands still and you won't get an error saying oh why is this not working yes that's how i think you guys sound like no offense anyways <laughs> <coughs> please don't subscribe because i say that anyways let's scroll down and actually i just reviewed my token there so i don't regen it but <coughs> uh if we say let's do it here we're gonna add all of our functions async def update underscore data and it's gonna have users and then user and then we're gonna do if not f string this uh open that up user dot id in users then do users f string that once more do user dot id equals open up brand new brackets and there you go now we can do actually we can do this same thing a couple more times um let's copy this and then paste it in and then paste it in now we have that we can actually add another bracket next to it it's gonna be called experience and I'm probably gonna spell this wrong, so I'm just gonna copy this straight up. And now, lastly, we go into here, and this one's level. I think I know how to spell this one. And their default level will be one, and then their default experience will be zero. You can change this to however you'd like. I'm just gonna keep it like this because I'm a normal person. I'm not saying you're nor not normal. Please don't subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, do async def underscore add underscore experience and then you want to add users user and then xp or exp and then you can do users f string that user dot id uh and then experience oh nope i opened that up by accident there we go and now ready for this plus equals exp boom so this is the second function done and now we have to do our last function which admitted admittedly is the la longest one is the longest one so let's do that async def level underscore up inside we're gonna have users user and message and now um we're gonna put in with open and this is gonna be another json file that we're gonna have called levels.json so I'll make a new one called levels.json and then uh yeah once again open up brackets and then destroy that levels.json and that's gonna be as r not as f as r and now it's f. it's f and open that up and inside we're just gonna have levels equals to json oh, actually my bad not as f apparently as 
it said G. Um, and then JSON dot load G. Weird, right? Anyways, we can do experience. You know, I'm I'm copying it off to this because I cannot spell. Equals users. Um, and then do that. Open that up. Users dot ID. User actually. My bad. And then do. And because I actually copied them, because look, look at that big brain move by your boy here. Anyways, we can do level underscore start, which is gonna be equal to users f string dot user dot id. Close that off, and then open that up again, and then have level inside of it. Now we can do level underscore end equals int experience actually no why am i typing this out i copied it like a god and then times times one by four so basically it will take um whatever your experience is it'll go up with a fourth of the level i guess and then if you do if level lvl underscore start and then on uh level actually no i didn't i don't know how to spend that if level end is greater than level start then it will send the you know congrats message so to oh wait message dot channel dot send and then f string that so do user dot mention has leveled up level can be we're gonna set level two level underscore i guess like so once you have that uh you can actually add one more thing it's gonna be Oh, actually, I spelled this wrong. This should be take out the E's. So now you guys won't get an error for that. F string that. User. And open up brackets. User.id. And then level. Equals. LVL equals underscore end. And boom. This is our final function. We have one last thing to do, which is checking what level we are on. So, if we actually go up all the way, you may have noticed that on our on message, we don't have like that underline thingy because we actually created the, you know, functions. Let's do it right here. I feel like this is a good space. And do kind.command. And then do async def level. Or you could do rank, whatever. Do ctx member and then equal discord dot member equals none. And do if member equals equals none. Return oh wait ctx dot send. Please. Actually no, you don't do that. My bad. Uh you can actually do member equals ctx dot author. Big break plays by a boy here. Anyways, I do gonna write ID equals ctx dot author actually message dot author dot ID and then do with open users dot json as a read file because we're just going to be reading it and then as f do users equals json dot load and then f and now we can do lvl equals users f string that user um it's actually going to be no f string i got a bit too ahead of myself you might say do str id 
and then grab level and then boom so then we can set await ctx.send fstring that member or my bad we should have uh, changed this this should be member.id and then we can do member.mention is on level LVL. Like so, I'm just gonna add this so it's bolded, and boom, that's the whole command. So let's go into our Discord and test it out. Okay, so we did get an error when I ran it, and I don't want this video to be way too long. So here it is the code that I had to replace with. I guess you can take a nice look at it. And if you want the code, I mean, right, and you don't want to write this out like I didn't, uh, just DM me on Discord. I'll give it to you. But anyways, once we run it and go over to our Discord, we can do like hello or something. Just type random gibberish, and boom. We I messed up on this part, but look, see, it says Bliska has leveled up and stuff. Now, if we go here into our registry code we can check our users.json and it's upping the thing and now lastly if we do d level it says you are at level two so it works anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video it was a pretty fun one to make you guys ask for it and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video hope you enjoyed till next time glow scout see ya